Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the good and the good that happened in DFS, let me get into my positive word. And my word for t this fine morning is plan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, anything that you do in life, you have to have a plan. You have to write down what you're trying to do step by step. You got to have daily goals, weekly goals and yearly goals. And you need to check them every day. Once you get into the habit of planning and executing a plan, then you'll get into a habit of seeing success. Because what happens is everybody on the planet, every single person has dreams. There's not one person that's watching this video that doesn't have a dream, but they plan to execute that dream. So when you have a plan in place, it's like with me. All right, I wanted to be a professional actor. So I said, OK, my plan was number one to do me some plays. I wanted to be in some plays so I get some experience. That was that was action number one. Then I had to get me some headshots once I started taking it serious. Then I said, OK, step three to be on a TV show. I need to get in front of an accredited teacher. So I went to Susan Batson in New York. And then my next plan was to be on a TV show. And I worked on my craft every day. And then you own your plan. You have to give yourself deadlines because when you write it down with deadlines, it forces you to get off your butt and get it done. Because if you don't have action to back up your back, back up what you're doing, then you're just talking and talking never gets you anywhere. Action that you fought a plan that you that is followed by action leads to results. So, guys, if you want to change your life, you have to plan a strategy to change your life. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it there with plan. All right, guys. So tonight. Let me get into the wonderfulness that happened in DFS. I got games still going on, guys. Um, all of my contests are over 120 right now. They're actually all over 125. Um, they're on, they, they, they all look, it looks like all of my, my games are going to be pretty well. I have one that's already at a 197.5. I have only did three today. And I have Dyson that's still hitting. Um, my best play of the game was Donaldson, guys. I, I just knew he was going to go off, and he did, guys. He gave us 44 points, and I knew the catcher, Chirinos, was going to go off. He gave us 27.7. I knew Sale was going to be a better play than Clevenger, I mean, than the, um, the pitcher for Cleveland. He went for 73 because I just liked his matchup way better. And Dyson is already a 6.5, guys. He's going to go to bat at least two more times. I know he's going to get another hit. He might even get a home run because he's due. But when I wake up in the morning, this is going to be a 200-point game. All right, guys. I want to talk to you guys about um, about double-ups and 50-50 contests. All right, guys. When you play on FanDuel or DraftKings, play contests that has 100 people or less. Because if you're getting lineups from me, then... I'm smarter than 90% of the people that do DFS. I'm, I'm, nobody is ever smarter than everybody. So I'm going to say I'm smarter than 90% of the people. So if you get into a 100 entry contest or less, you are already ahead of 70% of them already. Now we got to just see how many of the other 30% that we can beat. So I do well and, and I, I, I don't go into the, to the games anymore that has 30,000 people and all of that because guys, it's too many people. You want your numbers to be low. We're trying to win. We're not trying because if you if you went on a hundred entry or less, you can still win a hundred dollars. You can still you can play a five dollar four hundred and fifty prize pool game with a hundred people in it. You can win one hundred twenty five dollars. You get in first pl first place. Once a week, you're gonna get first place if you're dealing with me. You're gonna have because I'm doing two hundreds like it's nothing, guys. I'm doing I haven't gone three days yet without doing a three hundred point lineup. So guys. Be smart about your contest selection. And guys, watch the weather. If it's any games where it's been raining that day or it's raining, stay away from those games because the damper it is, the less balls carry from what I'm seeing. The warmer the weather or the thinner the air is the better hitting conditions like Arizona and Colorado because the, the air is thin. It's not a lot of um, moisture there. You know, so so keep that in mind, guys. And also, guys, when you're playing your head-to-heads, you're going up against guys that's not going to know what they're doing when you create your own. 
All right. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am on to today. Don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, write it down. That's called Think and Ink because when you write it down, it comes true. Guys, have a wonderful start to your day. And, guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. Love y'all.